Right, I'm south of Cook City in Republic Creek on a, a west facing slope at 9,700 feet. Snowpack here is nine feet deep. We just dug down three or four feet to look at the stability of the snow that's fallen over the last two, three weeks, pretty much since the beginning of February. We're not really worried about avalanches breaking deeper than that down near the ground. We haven't seen anything on those layers for a while now. We did get a test here to break. It took a lot of force, but it did propagate on a thin layer of facets or surface hole about two feet deep. We also heard of an avalanche uh, out by Mount Abundance yesterday that probably broke on this layer a couple hundred feet wide, two feet deep, and was triggered from flatter terrain above. So that and the new snow that's falling now is going to be our main concern. We're expecting maybe a foot of snow by Tuesday. We're seeing moderate and strong winds now that should keep going. So we can definitely expect to trigger avalanches where the new snow's drifted into wind slabs. And with that added weight, we could see deeper, wider avalanches breaking on this weak layer. So as danger rises the next couple days, uh, be extra cautious with slopes steeper than 30 degrees.